So before we begin, if you like the content, please subscribe because I get the feeling this is going to get demonetized. I just get the feeling, so you can support me that way. Uh, Gamer Girls about the impact user comments and actions have on a streamer's mental health and well-being. The reason why FMV Future created the game was to raise the issue of toxic environments which can be often appear online behind the anonymity of a username. Without giving too much away, Gamer Girl is an empowering story of a female streamer who, with the help of her moderator friend, battles the trolls and overcomes the toxic characters in her stream. Gamer Girl was co-written by Alexandra Burton, the lead actress who improvised the entire script. The research into streaming content Gamer Girl took four years in the dev team with FMV Future interviewed dozens of female streamers. Mind you, this was released before the trailer. Most of whom have experienced abuse of various kinds online, some have even shared their experience during interviews with the game. Players start the game as one of Abby's friends whom she trusts and it is their job to make the channel a success but also guide the stream to keep Abby in a positive frame of mind. Online abuse is real and still happening every day. So as you can see the responses are basically you are glorifying abuse, the trailer's bad, you're glorifying abuse. Now Wales Interactive uh, did kind of take a step back away from the game. They did take a step back away from the game. I will load that up here. Um, they wanted to make it clear that they are not the writers and that it was fmb future and her the actress they are the ones that are entirely at fault so who is at fault okay who is the one that is going to be taking the blame for this game's existence that would be this woman here ali burton okay now mind you she also has a twitter profile for the character and i have a video talking about that twitter profile so i won't be going into it here she did retweet uh, I am Epic Agents, which I believe is her agency. Uh, she takes the lead role in the PlayStation video uh, Nintendo game Gamer Girl. Uh, these women are doing great work. Uh, and then it's just, you know, other stuff, right? It's just uh, suicide awareness, other stuff. As I said, I'm going to get demonetized for this video, so it doesn't matter if I say that. And if we go into the comments for this, dangerous garbage. Well done, beautiful, not a good idea. It's a no from me. Oh look, it's the game only simps would have dreamed of. It's gonna suck and I'm glad it's likely going to fail. This person is wrong. Um, this game is going to sell extremely well. This game is going to make its money back and more. Uh, this game is going to be uh, probably very high up on the browse page on Twitch, get tons of free advertising. Streamers are gonna play it. YouTubers are gonna play it. Um, it's gonna have controversy. It's gonna have controversy buys. If you get the uh, people who are worried, looking from the whale stuff and from the trailer, that you might actually have an option to be one of the tr the trolls that's physically assaulting her, and you might be involved in it as her friend, as an option. Um, and they think that this, I, I think if, uh, that's highly likely, and I feel like if that's the case, it'll sell even better. I. I think this game is going to be insanely popular. I think it's going to be insanely bad for her career, but I think the game's going to make a lot of money. Um, I, I think she's trying to be an actress, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a no for me. I think uh, I don't know. It says it says art epic artist. Uh, I can't find any other content she's in. I'll do a scroll real quick. I don't. I don't know anything else she's been in. Um, I looked. I couldn't find anything. Uh, F. I am epic. Uh, did she do? Wait. Okay, she's not. Okay, at first it pulled up the social media manager for the game grumps. That definitely isn't her. Okay, good. So yeah, that's uh, it's really probably the rest of the information we're going to have until they do a response to the people's response of basically saying this game is glorifying violence against streamers, putting on a negative look for female streamers because of her attire and the way she acts, giving a false narrative of the way that uh, mods and streamers actually interact, things like that. Um, I, As I said, this game's going to sell amazing. They're going to make a ton of money. I'm probably going to end up if not buying it, I'm going to end up watching people play it. That's just reality, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. People seem to think this game's going to fail for some reason, or likely going to fail, and they're all wrong. People saying, oh, they're playing off controversy, I think that's 100% correct. I think this game is super seducer, but instead of it being really bad dating takes, 
it's going to be really bad streaming takes and it's going to make so much money.